Your vision is faulty. You couldn't identify nobody now. It's so long after. You said so yourself. Sit! Damn. It was an accident. I'm innocent. You don't know the circumstances. Accidental death. You're prejudging my case. Keep! Quiet. It's like this scene. One day I leave the home. I thumbs a lift from an old geezer who promises me a bed, gives me a bath, and a meal. Very friendly, uh, all you could wish he was. A photographer. He shows me one or two experimental studies. An experience for the retina, and no mistake. He, uh, he wanted to photo me for certain interesting features I had. He wanted the exclusive right of preserving. And you know how it is, I don't like to refuse. There's no harm in it, I suppose, but then I got to thinking. I knew a kid once called McBride that happened to. Mm. Yes. So when I get to thinking about this, I decide I've got to do something about it. So I wake up in the middle of the night looking for the film, see. Well, he's, he's got a lot of expensive equipment in the room, see. Appears he gets the wrong impression. He runs in, he gives a shout, and the long and the short of it is I lose my head, which is the thing I should never have done with the worry of those photos and all, and I hit him. I hit him. 